G'day everyone, Dave here. One of the great things that we did just before uh, COVID hit was we got to run Introducing God in February. Now, Introducing God is exactly what it sounds like. It's an opportunity to introduce people to God. And today, I want to introduce you to someone who came to the last Introducing God. So, welcome, Wei San. G'day. It's really great to have you here. Uh, now, we want to get to know just a little bit about your story and, uh, and Introducing God's part in it. But we're going to start not at Introducing God, but we're going to look backwards just a little bit. And do you want to tell us what was sort of going on in the lead up to you coming along to Introducing God? Thank you, Dave. Um, so the story begins with me joining the Golden Kangaroos Marching Band. And there I met Jonah Druid. She played a big instrument. I played a small instrument. But there was still opportunity for us to interact. Um, then we went on this bushwalk one of the weekends. And then the conversation started there. Well, that threw a lot of questions. Some I have thought about it. Some I have never thought about it. And along the way, then she invited me to read the Bible together. So every fortnight, I sort of go to her house, get to know her family, and then ask more questions. And what I really appreciate is Joe actually get me this bilanguage Bible, which actually has the English version and the Mandarin version, because English wasn't my first language. And that really helped me to process a lot of words in the Bible that what God is saying, um, because that, that, that's really helpful to actually have both, both sides of the language. Um, and then further along, there was this summer series uh, organized by North Rocks, it, which was, I think, last year. The interesting and yet big topic led me to start coming to church. And I feel very welcome when I first step into the church. I um, feel like probably people already know me because Joe has been letting me know that they, they pray for me in her growth group when I went to the Everest Base Camp. So I feel really uh, comfortable and happy to be at the church. And then even after finishing the series, I still wanted to come back uh, because I actually wanted to explore more. Uh, and then that's when it arrived on the month where we have the Introducing God, where Joe asked me, would you like to come along? Yeah, okay. So it's been a long journey. Yeah, you've been reading the Bible with Joe. Uh, you've come along to our summer series, wrestled with some questions. You've kept coming. Uh, you've been invited to Introducing God and you've, you, you've accepted and said, yep, okay, I'll come. Uh, tell us, how were you feeling walking in that first night? Right. Um, I remember after that, Joe shared with me, Introducing God the year before was moved to a Monday night and it was actually one day that in the week that I couldn't attend. So now when I come think about it, it's probably I wasn't ready and God has his plan. So this year when we moved, the Introducing God moved back to a Tuesday, um, it's very comfort to have Joe actually attending this together with me. Um, it wasn't feel that daunting and I must say, uh, the people that I met at the reception table, the new friends that I met, it's actually made me very comfortable. And I actually feel quite comfortable in coming and attending the session. Great, great. Now, uh, interesting God, four weeks, lots of big things we're throwing up and talking about together. Uh, how did it help you in your journey? Right. Um, I must admit, um, introducing God further disrupted a lot of my thinking, understanding, or what I thought I know about the world stories. Uh, it pushed me a lot into a very deep, deeper thinking room, um, area, and more questions actually come out. I, I was actually trying to come here to find answers, uh, but I didn't know I didn't be more questions that um, sometimes I don't even know how to ask those questions. Uh, and then I do realize that there's a battle that started within me now and if you watch those movie you probably have you know angel on one side devil on the other side and they all have their weapons and start fighting uh so that was me actually from introducing god um yeah so i was actually trying to process what this all means and that kept going from there yeah now uh 
we, we're going to get to the end of your story in just just a moment. But if, if someone's out there watching and they're in the similar position, wrestling, I guess, with their understanding of Christianity, what what would you say to them about coming along to introducing God? Right. Um, I would encourage you to to come. Um, it is a really uh, the, the forum then and the environment to ask the question, whether you know what to ask or you don't know what to ask. And I really think the open and honest conversation that's around the table, um, around the talk, it will actually help to open up your heart and that will actually open up the mind and then that will actually help to process what this all means. Yeah, okay, so... A, a helpful thing to do if you if you're in that boat jump jump on our website you can find all the details for our next introducing god coming up but uh don't leave us in suspense anymore way sand uh introducing god finishes uh tell us what happens in the next part of the story right so um i guess i i, I didn't become decided to become a christian right after introducing god the sort of battle continued on for probably a month uh i remember it was march I was doing a bushwalk with Joe again, and then we had a conversation. And then I realized that probably deep in my deep in my heart, I probably have already made some decision, but it was crystal clear that moment that I say, yes, uh, I would like to make Jesus the king of my life and my savior. Wow, that's so cool. And we're, we're so excited that you've made that decision and you know, to have Jesus as your Lord and your Savior. Uh, tell us, uh, how, how has this changed you? Um, before I know God, I tend to do a lot of things right, on my own. And there are times that I that did work it out. And when I don't work it out, I get frustrated on myself. Um, then now, a lot of my views... What's important, what's not important, that has all changed. Um, if you imagine a life is like a Lego structure, um, you used to put the pieces, just trial and error, but now I know that uh, I'll ask myself to ask God to guide me, and He's walking this with me, He has a plan for me. Every piece that we put together, there's a purpose. Uh, even though probably it was a less than ideal situation, it's okay. Um, there's meaning and a purpose behind it, uh, there's some learning that he will want me to learn. So I think the growing journey is very different now uh, because the meaning and the purpose of life is very different now. Wei San, it's been so good to hear your story uh, and see personally what God has done in it in terms of your your. Uh, coming along to church, which has been great, and seeing you introducing God and, and seeing what he's doing in your life now. It's just so encouraging. Thank you so much for being with us and sharing a bit of your story. Thank you so much for having me here.